Hey everybody and welcome to another Brie Book Reviews video. So today we are going to be discussing my top five favorite fantasies. Now before we get into the list, I just want to let you guys know that I did specifically leave out three series because I feel like I talk about them all the time and there's really no need to put them in this list. I wanted to talk about more of my favorites. And those three are Harry Potter, The Mistborn Trilogy, and A Song of Ice and Fire, which you all know I love those series and those are definitely some of my tops, but I just wanted to discuss some other fantasies that I absolutely love just so that you guys know that I have more than just those favorite fantasies. Can we just take a look at this please? Can we? Can we? You're so lucky you're fucking cute. You know that? You're so lucky. Look what he did to my couch. You. Are you done? Coming in at number five is Percy Jackson and the Olympians by Rick Riordan. This is the first of the two adventures that Percy Jackson and his friends take. The first one is one of my favorites. I read it about two or three years ago during Booktubeathon and absolutely fell in love with the story. And I recently finished The Heroes of Olympus, which I will be talking about in my March wrap up, so stay tuned for that. As far as this series goes, I still, I don't know, after reading the newer one, I still absolutely love this one. I feel like I went through this a lot faster, but I'm sure it's because these books are a lot smaller than the Heroes of Olympus books. And this is a really popular series, so I'm sure you all are familiar with the story, but if you aren't, this is about our young Percy Jackson, who is kind of a troublemaker. Well, he's not trying to be a troublemaker, but things just keep happening around him and he doesn't understand why. Until one day, his mother reveals to him that he is a demigod and he is the son of Poseidon. So Percy goes to this camp called the Half-Blood Camp and learns that there are many other demigods and he makes a lot of friends and they go on a wild adventure to retrieve Zeus's lost thunderbolt and just goes way beyond that and it is such a great series and I highly recommend this if you're a fan of Harry Potter because it is also a middle grade series. At number four comes Codex Alara series by Jim Butcher. It was really popular a few years back which is why I started reading it. I believe uh, Reagan from Peru's Project read this series and it was one of her favorites and I flew through this series and this is not a small series at all. Like every single book in the series is at least this thick if not bigger and I think I read the entire series in about a week and a half because these are just super quick. They are so full of adventures and questions that you want answered and it just, I just remember absolutely loving this series but it's a uh, fandom has kind of like died down on booktube so I'm just like restating how much I love this series. It's been pitched as like Pokemon meets Roman gladiators. This is about a fantasy world where the inhabitants all have these magical bonds with these creatures called Furies, which allow them to perform elemental magic. So everybody can perform either powers of water, fire, earth, or air. And our main character here, Tavi, is the only one who does not have the powers of the Furies. So he's in a unique situation. Everybody kind of looks down on him because he's like the only one who can't perform magic. And it's his like coming of age story and finding out, um, you know, deeper things like who he is and his whole backstory is really awesome. And there's also a big plot to destroy, like evil is destroying the world, you know, the typical fantasy, but it's got a really awesome twist to it, especially with like the Roman setting stuff I really, really like. Coming in at number three, The Ryeria Revelations by Michael J. Sullivan. This is an amazing, amazing fantasy series that I read at the end of last year and flew through them so fast. I actually listened to this on audio. This is the story of Royce and Hadrian. They are thieves and they do little odds and ends jobs for people and one day they get asked to steal this sword from somebody and when they go to do it they find this person murdered and they get framed for this murder and it's kind of like their adventures and finding out like who framed them and why and all that stuff and it's an 
awesome adventure story. And there's also a prequel to this that I have not gotten to, even though I really, really wanted to re like start it immediately after I finished this series. And I still really want to. And that will probably be a very soon to come read for me because I've been like missing this world and missing these characters. And the prequel is awesome because it'll go more into like the backstory of the two characters because they have like really intricate past lives and they kind of reference it in this series but not really like not to the point where you're confused but it makes you want to read the prequel because you're interested in what they're talking about. Coming in at number two is the Demon Cycle series by Peter V. Brett. This is a series that I almost never hear about on booktube, except for a few of the like adult fantasy booktubers that I religiously follow. I cannot remember her name, but I will link the person that I heard this series about from. This is set in a world where creatures are kind of like taking over the world and people use these like magical wards to hide behind and it's kind of like a, during the day they're all right but the creatures come out at night and they if they're not behind these magical wards then they they're pretty much dead well our main character is Arlen here he has like a really tragic child trauma thing that happens that makes him want to go on an adventure to find out how to defeat these creatures once and for all and there's other main characters as well but it's just so intricate and I read this a long time ago that I can't really go into great detail but it is an amazing amazing world I just loved learning more about the creatures and where they're actually coming from and we get introduced to so many different characters and there's just so many twists and turns in this story that I absolutely fell in love with it. There are some people that kind of travel between the warded cities that, I forget what they're called, but it's kind of their job to travel through these like really dangerous creature filled territories and it's just so amazing. And the next book in this series, I want to say the fifth book, is coming out so soon. I want to say the end of this year and I cannot wait. I will be picking that up immediately and reading it. I'm actually thinking of doing a reread of the first four books just to kind of refresh my mind on what happened or at least the last couple books. Maybe not from the very beginning but at least the third and fourth book I think I will end up rereading here during the summertime. And the number one on my list, The King Killer Chronicles by Patrick Rothfuss. I love this series so much and I cannot wait for the third book to come out. Who knows when that will be? It's kind of been, I feel like it's been so long since the second book came out. I haven't really looked up any recent news, so I don't know if it finally has a release date for the third book, but come on, Patrick Rothfuss, what are you doing to us? What are you doing? This is the story of Kvothe, who is the most powerful wizard in this world. It's really unique how the story is told. You are hearing Kvothe tell his story to a chronicler who is writing everything down. So he's telling this story about his past and talking about that and it kind of jumps to the past and back to the present where he's with the chronicler and I really like how it kind of goes back and forth. You kind of learn like why he is the way he is, the things that he's gone through to get to this point and I just want to know what's gonna happen. So there you have it. Those are my top five choices for favorite fantasy. If you guys have any comments or questions please leave them down below. Let me know what you guys favorite fantasies are and have a great day. Bye!